So good morning, one and all. Today we are discussing uh, special features of traction motors. Special. Today we are discussing spe special features of traction motors. What are the general features of electrical motors used for traction purpose? As a two basic types of uh, features, one is mechanical, another one is electrical features. What are the mechanical features? What are the electrical features? In general, in mechanical uh, features, mainly traction motor must be mechanically strong. Generally, whatever the motor strong is needed, mechanically strong and robust, and it should be capable of withstanding severe mechanical vibrations. Go uh, for uh, house appliances motor. For example, a uh, single, uh, single phase motor in your home for pumping water, a uh, sump to tank. Uh, suppose without a uh, base or fit equipment, or, uh, it's not used, then the motor is, when we're starting the motor, the motor is moving or vibrated. Motor. Then they fix with a certain uh, mounting structure. Then automatically motor can't vibrate, then motor uh, functionality is not, it's not uh, it's functionality is good if you're fitting uh, that water means then mounting structure. Similarly, here also, while taking, uh, while, uh, what are the, uh, while considering the mechanical feature, so traction motor must be mechanically strong and robust, strong and robust, and it should be capable of withstanding severe mechanical vibrations. So what is this? What is the other case? Second one is the traction motor should be completely enclosed when placed beneath the locomotive to protect against dirt or dust mud. So if you are opening or a, a semi-closed or open closed, open closed type of traction motor, then automatically while locomotive, while locomotive means that is moving one place to another place, then add dust, dust, dust particle to add the motor, then automatically functional, functionality of motor will reduce or performance of motor also reduce. So to avoid this, to protect, to protect the of uh, motor, traction motor, so we are considering, we are taking this enclosed type of motor, we are taking uh, in locomotive cars, as a also to protect against that dust, mud, etc. And next to the other, other uh, uh, feature is, in the base, on the basis of dimensions, traction motor must have small diameter to arrange easily beneath the motor coach. To beneath very easily beneath the motor coach. That is a uh, one of our, uh, another feature of mechanical. In overall dimensions, traction motor must have small diameter to arrange easily beneath the motor coach. This is also important feature. Another thing, other the other feature is traction motor must have minimum weight, so the weight of locomotive will decrease. Generally, uh, go for an old three phase motors, uh, 1990, 1990, uh, 2000, in between 1990 to 2000. The three HP motor or five HP motor size weight is very big. Later, after 2000, the many companies to reduce the size, same, same HP range and reduce the size. When reducing the size, transporting is easy, then based on the cost, also reduces. And easy is uh, generally in traction motors connected to locomotive. Weight reduced means when I have to transport one place to the moving place, the weight reduces, then automatically easily to move. So it means load burden is reduced. Load carrying capability of motor will increase. Additional, additional carrying capability will increase when we are reducing the uh, motor, motor size. This are a few features related to mechanical features. Then what are the electrical features? So electrical features are different uh, considerations. So we have to decide few considerations here. High starting torque, speed control, braking braking concept, temperature. So what is high starting torque here? Uh, traction motor generally uh, must have high starting torque, which is required to start the motor on load during the starting condition. Generally in urban, suburban services. In locomotive, generally while starting the engine, it already have load is connected. So high load, that for this case, we are starting purpose, is required high starting time. That's why most of the cases we are using series motors and compound motors we are using here uh, in traction purpose. And another thing is speed control. 
స్పీడ్ కంట్రోల్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాక్స్ అనమాట మస్ట్ బి సింపుల్ అండ్ ఈజీ అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ స్టార్టింగ్ అండ్ స్టాపింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది మోటార్ ఇన్ ట్రాక్షన్ పర్పస్ ఈజీ ఈజీ టు కంట్రోల్ దట్స్ వై ద స్పీడ్ కంట్రోల్ మెకానిజం ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రోల్ ఇన్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ ట్రాక్షన్ మోటార్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఎలక్ట్రికల్ ఫీచర్ అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ డైనమిక్ అండ్ రీజనరేటివ్ బ్రేకింగ్ డైనమిక్ అండ్ రీజనరేటివ్ బ్రేకింగ్ జనరలీ ట్రాక్షన్ ఇన్ ద ట్రాక్షన్ మోటార్స్ ఏబుల్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ ఈజీ సింపుల్ రియోస్టాటిక్ అండ్ అండ్ రియో రీజనరేటివ్ బ్రేకింగ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ టు హైయర్ వోల్టేజెస్ capable of withstanding the voltage fluctuations so braking mechanism is uh, uh, is one of important role in traction motors then we have to start uh, stopping case or brake brake for we have to apply brakes so most of the cases if we are using dynamic braking so it is easier to brake the motor when it suddenly to can stop the electrical related so electric traction uh, compared with mechanical traction case so what this is also one of the important variation important uh, అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఇన్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ మోటార్స్ డైనమిక్ అండ్ రీజనరేటివ్ బ్రేకింగ్ ప్రొసీజర్స్ అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ అనదర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫీచర్ ఈజ్ టెంపరేచర్ ట్రాక్షన్ మోటార్ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ క్యాపబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ విత్స్టాండింగ్ హై టెంపరేచర్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ ట్రాన్షన్ కండిషన్స్ సో విత్స్టాండింగ్ హై టెంపరేచర్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ ట్రాన్షన్ కండిషన్స్ ట్రాక్షన్ మోటార్ ద క్యాపబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ విత్స్టాండింగ్ హై టెంపరేచర్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ ట్రాన్షన్ కండిషన్స్ అండ్ అనదర్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఓవర్లోడ్ కెపాసిటీ traction motor should have capability handling excess overloads also can handle and one more thing is parallel running so more number of motors need to run in parallel to carry more load therefore traction motor should have such speed torque current torque characteristics those motors may share to the load total load almost equally this is one of important para feature of electrical electrical feature of traction motor and next one more important thing is commutation traction motor should have feature better commutation to avoid this sparking this is very important uh, in traction motors sparking uh, possibility reduces so sparking possibility reduces means commutation is very good condition so brushes the main important thing is uh, brushes and the commutator segments the important role here so when uh, better commutation purpose have to construct in traction motor that is one of feature of electrical feature of uh, traction motor so so what are the traction motors what type of traction motors we have to compare with uh, dc motors then have to compare with uh, different motors then what what are the features of traction motors here generally uh, for traction no single motor so only we are not using single motor so many motors we are using uh, traction motors either a series motor or compound motor or linear induction motor induction motor also we can use screw gear induction motor also we can use traction motor not in a single motor so some few features so on the single motor we are using but many motors are there based on the requirement we are using different types of motors that is one of feature of this traction motors generally what are the types of dc motors dc shunt motors series motor compound motor and uh, induction motors lo screw gear and slip ring and there are linear induction motors also there and synchronous motors also there so many of motors are there uh, to uh, uh, i use in uh, traction motors generally most of the cases uh, traction motors we are using in the series motor and compound motor some most of some few cases and uh, may uh, prefer only dc compound motors compared with series and separately excited motors nowadays uh, uh, we, uh, squirrel gear induction and synchronous motors also widely used in traction because availability of reliable variable frequency semiconductor inverters so nowadays uh, many available variable frequency semiconductor uh, inverters are available so these inverters are available then you can use uh, this uh, uh, squirrel gauge induction and synchronous motor also nowadays we are using here so compare with dc motors squirrel gauge motors few advantages so what are the advantages of squirrel gauge induction motor so one is robust construction another is high reliable low maintenance and low cost high efficiency low maintenance and low cost and high efficiency these are the few advantages uh, of screw gear induction motor compared with dc motors then uh, synchronous motors also compared with uh, screw gear induction motor and dc motor few features what are the advantages here synchronous motors can be operated at leading power power by varying the field length if you are varying the generally in these motors the field length field excitation based on that we have to generate the power here here also here synchronous motors can operate leading power by varying the field excitation then one more important advantage here load commutator thyristor inverter is used in synchronous motors as compared to force commutation thyristor 
inverter. Compared with forced computation thyristor inverter, load computation inverter, thyristor inverter is somewhat few advantages. Uh, that, that's why uh, we prefer synchronous motors compared with induction motors and uh, DC motors. And one more thing is uh, compared with induction motor, synchronous motor is less expensive. Less expensive. These are the few advantages of synchronous motor compared with spiral gaze uh, and DC motor. Then uh, uh, go for different uh, motors uh, uh, used in traction motor. The first one is this series motor. This is also basic concepts. All of that. Uh, this is series motor. Uh, uh, more widely we are using uh, uh, traction purpose, and uh, this is having high. Generally, this is very important. You based on this analogy, where well, the torque is directly proportional to phi i a, and the speed is inversely proportional to flux and inversely proportional to armature current. These are the relations we are that according to from back EMF equation, torque equation of a motor. So by using these expressions, uh, we are analyzing uh, this series motor have having high starting torque. This series motor having high starting torque and capability handling overloads. This is very, very important uh, advantage or feature, uh, feature of uh, DC series motor. That's why it is suitable for traction drives. Why DC series motor is suitable for traction means that almost features of DC series motor is similar to traction motor functionalities, similar to traction. But that's why we are using uh, traction drives, we are using DC series motor. And the simple and robust construction, why means this is series connection, simple and robust. And uh, series, uh, speed control also, easy way to control. Series parallel control method, we are using here to control the speed and sparkless computation is possible and the series motor flux is proportional to the armature flux armature current and torque series will be proportional to the armature current and torque by changing the new parameter can mod you can change the, the low torque or flux or armature current then we, there is a lot of possibilities to control the motor that's why most of the cases we are using traction most of the places we are using in traction purpose we are using in series motors These relations, uh, we all know that uh, many of people knows from second year, first year onwards, I have studied in DC series motor relations, torque equation, speed equation, back MF equation. So generally in series motor, flux is directed to IA, Y means uh, our armature winding and field winding are in series. That's why phi is directly proportional to IA, then torque is directly proportional to IA square, square of the current. Next, what is second type? shunt motor so a few places also generally not suitable for traction but some uh, places uh, there's a small uh, traction purpose we are not available of series compound motor so we are using this shunt motor so generally it's not good uh, if we are using this uh, traction purpose in this shunt motor why means it's a constant speed motor this is shunt motor is a constant speed motor uh, speed of the motor should vary with service conditions. Uh, we are not uh, different to can't vary. It's a constant speed motor. That's why we are not using traction purpose. And one more thing is uh, that output is independent of speed and based on the relations, uh, we are not uh, using traction purpose in shunt motors. One more important thing is you go for a uh, refer speed torque and speed current characteristics of a DC shunt motor uh, is flat characteristics, not in wherever, not in either ramp type or vice versa, flat characteristics, flat uh, must be flat and same, almost similar then uh, we can, that's why this is also one of the important uh, uh, consideration we are not using in traction purpose. And next one more important thing is uh, AC series motor. Uh, this is also one of special motor already I studied in third year course uh, uh, EM3 thing. So then AC series motor. AC series motor is best suited for the traction purpose. Uh, this also we are using in traction purpose due to high starting This is similar to series motor. Uh, here we are connecting uh, this AC supply here in place of that DC we are connecting AC supply. Uh, due to some following reasons, it's not a satisfactory uh, results for using an A-series motor traction purpose. What are the following reasons? 
field and armature currents reverse for the every half cycle. Hence, unidirectional torque is developed at double frequency. In that double frequency, harmonics increases. Then this is also an important reason. It's not a satisfactory result uh, if you are using AC series motor. We can use traction purpose, uh, but the it's not give satisfactory results. Another thing is the alternating flux developed by the field winding causes excessive eddy current loss. This is a major important uh, uh, loss occur here, eddy current loss due to this uh, double frequency case or eddy, uh, automatically to increase eddy current loss based on the relation, eddy current loss relation to increase the eddy current loss then automatically suddenly to heat the motor. So at the time to reduce the temperature, some additional uh, component we are using here. So this is also one of the reason uh, it's not give satisfactory results. Next one, one more important thing is field winding inductance will result abnormal voltage drop and low power factor. So power factor value leads to the poor performance. Power factor is low. Uh, it, it, it becomes to uh, give results with poor performance. And one more thing is uh, the eddy current losses occur means here induced EMF currents flowing through the armature coils, undergoing computation, sparking problems, process failure, computator segments failure problems will occur if you are using this A series motor. We can use, but it's not give satisfactory results. This is a A series motor of uh, diagram here. Here, in place of that interpole winding, we are connecting here non inductive resistor. And single phase supply connect to main field winding and compensating winding. We are using all of that compensative starting purpose. We are using here. So armature winding, series motor, giving AC supply. This may current flows of the AC supply uh, connected across here means then at current for main field winding through via compensative winding, armature winding. Here non-inductive resistor we are using here and across interpol the protection purpose. That means it limit the current purpose. We are using non-inductive resistor and parallel to the interpol winding. It's also when we are a uh, few uh, more components are required and we are constructing a DIS series motor. Uh, uh, a few modifications, satisfactory operation of series motor on AC supply. So in order to reduce inductive reactance of the series field, field winding is, must be designed few turns. Field winding, uh, this main field winding uh, uh, designed for few turns. And decrease the number of turns, the field winding reduces the load torque. Automatically when if you are decreasing the number of turns, uh, so number of turns, what, what is the formula for back EMF, EB equal to Z5 and P, Z5 and P by 60 A. And number of turns reduces, back EMF reduces, based on that automatically torque value also reduces. Field turn decreases, then MMF decrease and flux and then flux, which will increase the speed. There, there is a relationship between flux and speed, inverse proportion. When flux reduces, speed value will be increases. Then uh, speed value increases means there is a, in a relationship between speed and torque. So automatically increasing the speed means the torque will decrease. There is a mathematical relation based on that you have to follow here. Then have to control the motor. So for this purpose, uh, then in reducing the field turns means based on that as a requirement to increase the armature turns proportionality. So this is the modification. A series motor, few drawbacks are there. To, uh, to eliminate or to avoid the drawbacks, we are constructing like this, then automatically we can use traction purpose and it gives the satisfactory results. One more thing, uh, uh, magnetic circuit of S-series motor should be laminated to reduce the current. So here S-series motor, one of the drawback here, eddy current losses are uh, more here to avoid those things. Uh, whatever the magnetic circuit that is coiled of a series motor should be laminated. So to automatically to reduce it. These are few reasons to, re to uh, get the satisfactory results of a series motor. Generally, series motor should be operated low voltage, high, high voltage, uh, low current supply would require large number to produce the given flux. And one more thing, motor should be operating low frequency because inductive reactance is proportional to the frequency. Inductive reactance is less means the frequency value also low. These are the few reasons to eliminate the, to get or to eliminate the losses or to get the good results of DC, say, sorry, AC series motor. 
Next one more uh, motor is three phase induction motor. So three phase induction motor. Uh, it's also we can prefer traction purpose. So simple, robust construction, trouble free operation, easy way can operate, absence of commutator, no commutator here, uh, less maintenance, simple automatic regeneration purpose. We can use this uh, uh, three phase induction motors. That is another one more important thing is efficiency is also almost uh, uh, compared with DC, the efficiency of three phase induction motor is more. And few drawbacks also there here, low starting torque, high starting current and uh, speed control. These are the already I discussed in uh, electrical machines, one, two, three subjects. It is difficult to employ three phase next motor for multiple unit system come in case of that uh, DC compared with DC. So heavy trains can't use this uh, three phase next motors. So overload distribution system, then why we are using this traction purpose three phase next motor. So supply in the form of AC most of the places, then not directly for using this, then directly to connect AC. So DC means is required again rectifier or uh, so converter is needed here in the, to uh, again AC to DC conversion then uh, in electric traction purpose. So to avoid those things, some few places we are using three phase induction motors to in locomotive purpose. So one more motor we are using in traction purpose, linear induction motor. So this also already I had uh, studied in a uh, third year course. Uh, Special motors, linear induction motor. So, so this is a special type of induction motor. It's a linear motion instead of rotational motion. Previous all the what was a rotational motion is a linear motion. In case of linear induction motor, both the movement of field and the movement of conductors are linear. So movement is a, a field or conductors are linear motion. That's why name called a linear induction motor. So here, uh, here three phase distributed field winding placed generally the construction of a field winding. Uh, they are placed in slots, then each slot we are uh, placing the conductor coil and the second is nothing but a conducting plate. Secondary uh, is a primary here. Secondary is nothing but a conducting plate made up of either copper or aluminum where the plate made up of material is copper or aluminum. So this is the uh, uh, this is a linear induction motor uh, circuit diagram, a uh, construction diagram. So short single primary case, a paramagnet plate here. And secondary case is slots here, three phase primary slots. In the inside the slots, we are replacing a conductive coil. So two types here, uh, field system either single primary or double primary system. Single primary system, a ferromagnetic place is in other side of the copper plate. And other low as yes, generally it creates a low reluctance path. Low reluctance path create means it produces it cuts the means uh, it produces the more uh, it creates a force or what, uh, then automatically then it uh, overload capacity is but there is a possibility here overload capacity. So how to exit the primary side means by connecting three phase AC supply here. So generally, we all know that if we are giving supply to the primary, then automatically how to transfer energy from primary to secondary by mutual induction, like transformer principle to transfer according to mutual induction currents flowing through the secondary and ferromagnetic plate. Then automatically ferromagnetic plate energized, uh, ferromagnetic plate energized and attracted towards the primary causes unequal air gap between primary and secondary. This is the torque speed characteristics of a linear induction motor. So what are the advantages? Simple in construction, low initial cost, maintenance cost is low, maximum speed is not limited due to centrifugal forces, better power to weight ratio. And disadvantages uh, is uh, cost uh, the uh, simple the simple initial cost is low but uh, cost providing collector system is cost is high that's why high cost of providing collector system and uh, efficiency uh, as many of uh, components we are using here based on that efficiency is poor and power factor also low then less places we are using these applications mainly high speed rail traction purpose we are using this linear induction motor trolley cars Tramways, we are using this, uh, and belt conveyors also, we are using this uh, linear induction motor, and electromagnetic pumps also, we are using uh, 
linear index. These are the main applications of linear index motor, high speed rail traction, trolley cars, tramways, metallic built conveyors, and electromagnetic pumps. Electromagnetic pumps were in this uh, linear induction motor, induction motors. So remaining topic uh, we'll discuss next class, next class. Okay, thank you.